Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today we are going to conduct another video tutorial on pic 18 f microcontroller programming with the help of C language. And in this video tutorial, we are going to discuss another bit manipulation operation. And specifically, we are going to discuss logical operator. Logical operator uh, and which one? The OR, right? The OR gate always gives you a high signal whenever any of the input is high. This is the simplest definition, but we are going to impl implement that uh, OR gate in uh, C language for pic 18 f microcontroller. And we are going to consider a real-time application. In this application, we are considering that uh, in the port B, uh, we know that a port B has a combination of eight different bits, but we will be dealing only with the uh, three different bits. And what are those bits? RB1, RB2, both of these uh, pins are basically considered as uh, uh, input pins. So that means we are going to uh, deal with them as input. As you can see that these green arrows indicates the direction of these arrows are inward. That means data is going to uh, go inside the microcontroller. While RB3 pin will be considered as output output pin right and we will make simply a uh, uh, simple uh, two input or gate that means if any of these two pins will receive one then rv3 will provide a high signal but uh, the interesting thing is that all these three pins lie inside one single port that means we want to uh, configure individual bits and we will be dealing with uh, bit manipulation operation so let's start this code and let's see how we are going to perform this function, right? So first of all, uh, we will define hash include p 18 f 452 Remember, this is the basic structure of the C code that we have already discussed earlier. So here in header file, we are just defining or declaring the specific chip number of microcontroller, right? Then we are going to follow the main code which is uh, the structure basically void main void and then uh, there will be the body of the code i will just take uh, so in in these braces i will write down the body so before we go and write the code first let's analyze the problem in this problem we have two input pins and one output pin right so for input bits we don't need to define them because they are by default every pin or every port bit is in input mode. So what we need to define only for the output pin, right? And RB3 is basically what the input, the output pin, right? So we will be defining it. But uh, I want to discuss one more feature of C language that is basically called macros. In macros, you can uh, define them uh, or you can acronym uh, very long commands by simple words so that you can use those simple words in your program without any uh, difficulty, right? For example, what code I'm gonna use, you know that uh, I'm going to discuss the port bits. So I have to discuss ports, port B, bits, and what RB3. Or similarly, I am interested in port B, Bits, okay, here is I have made a mistake. Okay, bits, it is bits, B I T S bits dot R B two. And similarly, I need for bits dot R B three. So instead of writing these three long uh, keywords, we can usually assign them with a simple keyword. For example, I can simply call A for ports for B bits uh, dot R B one. I can simply call b for port b bits dot rb2 and i can simply call c for port b bits dot rb3 but how you would define it this is called macro mechanism and you simply uh, use its keyword and that is called hash define that means we are defining a macro which is a and it will be keyword or it will be substitute for this port b bits dot uh, rb1 similarly we can define hash define E and hash define C. So what is going to be 
uh, easiness of this is, or what is going to be the effect of uh, on the code that instead of using these difficult or long keywords, we can simply use now A, B, and C, right? So now let's go to the code. So instead of using now these difficult keywords, I will be simply using A, B, and C, right? So let's go to the code. So in void man void, I'm going to define them. One thing I have to declare the output pin. Output pin is what? Uh, RB3 for output or input declaration, we need to play with press register. So how you do it? Press, I'm interested in press B. Then of course, I'm interested in, in, in individual bits rather than complete code. So in press, press B bits dot and which bit press three, right? Press B three, so we, or simply press three, right? So basically that is going to be uh, access this RB3 bin, right? So we are going to define this RB3 bit as a output code and how you do it by simply declaring it or initializing it as equals to zero and semicolon, right? So by this, now you have completed your input and output port configuration. Now you can simply develop our logic. And what is the logic? We know that for or gate, what is the situation? If any of these two bits, RB1 and RB2 will be high, so we will receive a high signal. And that is an OR gate. So for OR gate, how you write the statement? So condition should be what? If RB1 is, we know that we have already made it A and RB2 is what B. So if A or for OR sign, we will we'll use this sign, B, A or B equals to zero, if a or if a or b equals to one right you know that whatever the condition written against the if statement it is a boolean operator so if output of these logical operation will come equals to one or it will become true so uh, we will go into the if body otherwise you will go to the else right so there will be some if body and after that there will be some else body so we will simply write else right so we know that if any of these two bits are high, so what is going to happen? We will turn on the LED, which LED RB3, or uh, we will send one signal or high signal to RB3 pin and RB3 pin has declared as C pin. So you simply write C equals to one in case of it is true. And if it is false, you simply write C equals to zero. So this is the very simplest code uh, and very simplest code. And the most important thing to understand here how you are how you are accessing the individual bits of course and how you are using a logical operator uh, among those pins right but we know that this is not going to happen for uh, only one time because it is an embedded system or microcontroller system it will perform this operation for indefinite interval of time so we need to put this data inside an infinite loop so what is going to happen we will do it using while loop while and we intentionally make it always true. So it will always remain in the body while one. And what is the body of the while loop? This complete information. Whatever we have written in an else condition, this is going to be. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to. Okay, I have just raised it. Let me write it for you again. So, if A or B results in true, then C should be what one. Else, C should be what zero. Let me just. Yeah, now it seems quite understandable. I've just tried to align the uh, proper orientation to every specific line of the code. So now this code will work. Let me just highlight the main portions just to show you. So this is the body of if, if condition and this is the body of while loop, right? And this is specific part is in basically written for what? For the purpose of output declaration. And remember, this is the very interesting part in which we have actually acronym the very key difficult words or long difficult words into very small or very simplest words or simple letters A, B, C for very long keywords, right? So this is the complete code. 
So this code should be working for our uh, this example or application for our gate. Let's implement this code in the uh, Proteus environment. Okay, this is the Proteus environment. I've already built that code following the procedure which I have explained in the last tutorial. So I will not be explaining the complete procedure, but I've implemented and burned the code which I've written just for you guys here in this tutorial in this microcontroller. What, what things to be understand that we are considering two pins as input pins. These are the two pins, RB2 and RB3, remember? And similarly, the pin number RB3 is basically considered as output pin. Pin number RB3 is connected with LED. You can see that this is the output pin. So it is connected with an output device. And those two switches are basically connected or input pins are connected to these switches. So whenever, if I'm going to uh, turn on this switch, what is going to happen? This pin will receive one. And if I go to turn on this switch, so the other pin will also will receive one. So let's say I want to make one pin as a, high signal so what i'm going to do i'm going to turn on this switch so if i turn it on see the led is on that means our or gate is working according to the right condition similarly i can turn on the both switches but we know that for or gate either of them should be high so if both of them are high still signal will remain high but if you turn both of them uh, turn off both of them so what is going to happen the led will stop so that means our code which we have written in the c language for pick 18 f microcontroller for the logical operation or gate it's working now so i hope you have understand this code and implementation if you have any question please post they post them in uh, comment section thank you so much for listening